It seems like a really common thing for anyone who collects anything retro. We buy a lot of things with great intentions, thinking this is stuff that I have nostalgia for, this is stuff that I love to play, and then once in a while we look back and go, I'm happy to have some of this stuff, but where did this all begin? What got me into all of this? Today we're gonna kinda talk about that. Well, let's get into it. Here we go! I'm gonna kick things off with my Xbox collection. It's one of those things I told myself I'm never gonna collect for Xbox. I actually don't really have any nostalgia at all for the original Xbox. But collecting, as we all do, we collect, as I said, things we love, things we want. And my buddy was like, hey, I have an OG Xbox with all the cables, everything for you. Do you want it? I just have it lying around. I don't have room for it. And I was like, sure, I'll take it. My motto is, if it's free, it's for me. And with that, I brought it home and I was like, eh, I don't really have any extra CRT TVs lying around. I don't really have anywhere to hook this up, so I'm gonna set it aside. That was until Hyperkin reached out to me and they were like, hey, we wanna give you a bunch of these conversion cables, not big upscalers, but cables to hook up your original consoles to HD. Um, I just recently got uh, a Hyperkin uh, HD thing for the Xbox that makes the cables HD. So with that, I hooked it up hooked it up to actually a TV up here that you can't really see, and I started playing OG Xbox games, and I was like, these are more fun than I was thinking. And then I started going to swap meets, and if you've ever opened up that can of worms, which we all have at some point in our life, where you start to collect something that you have nothing for. The world is your oyster, because right then and there, you have endless possibilities. Every game you run across at the swap meet, it's like, well, I clearly don't have this because I don't have anything for this. So the collecting journey goes wild. So for me, for my first one, my Xbox games, how did, how did I get here? I have a whole bunch of Xbox games. I pick them up all the time at swap meets now. I pick them up all the time at garage sales. I love collecting for them. I'm loving the OG Xbox. Oh yes, oh yes, baby. I'm a happy boy. I'll show you guys when I get home. I mean, I'm happy. I'm very happy. But how did I get here? Here we go! The next one is definitely VHS tapes. Now, this one just started very, very recently. And for VHS tapes, it started with such a whole, such a pure idea in my mind. Ah, Gabo is trying to get it. It's Hook. But then I also see Hook. And I have like a weird addiction to Hook lately with toys and the movie and different accessories involved with Hook. I've been just harmlessly picking up little VHS here, little VHS there, which in my book had to have a very, very big, important sense of nostalgia for me to pick up. At least that's what I thought. And then I started going to conventions, as I always do, and some people that watch the show, some fans of the show, some amazing people were like, hey, I saw that you picked up a random VHS here, a random VHS there. I got a couple VHS tapes for you. And they would hand me VHS tapes and I started looking at them, started feeling them again and kind of just, you know, got my hands on more of a, a bulk pile of VHSs. And I don't have a ton yet, but as the title of the video goes, I shouldn't have started collecting these. Yeah, this might be the main one because they take up so much room. And it went from, like I said, harmlessly being like, I'll just pick up one or two that I very much love, very much big nostalgia for, to me last night an offer up, making an offer for someone with three giant trash bags full of VHS tapes that I don't even know what's in them. I could just see little things peeking through and I'm like, I need those. Clearly I need those. I do admit they're one of my favorite things to hold. I love cassettes. I love the stickers. I love reading the back. I love it. It takes up a lot of room. But again, VHS tapes. How did I get here? Here we go! Before I go into my last two physical things I've been collecting, I could change the title of this video to I shouldn't have started playing this because this is something I harmlessly started playing, a game called Sydney Hunter and the Curse of the Mayan. Yeah, my buddy John, Gamester81 and Collector Vision Games was working on this game for a very long time and I knew all about it and I kind of saw the game being made through the pipeline and I was thinking, yeah, I'll talk about it on Instagram or social media for John because he's a good friend. And he gave me the new Switch download code for the video game and I was like, okay, I'll just try it. Maybe I'll talk about it, play like, you know, an hour of it so I can feel like I can justify me talking about it. But I have to say within 
two hours, I started texting Ricky because he got a copy too. I was like, uh, are you playing Sydney Hunter? He's like, bro, this game's awesome. We started playing this game and I've kind of been obsessed with the game, yes. I did already beat the game. You play as a guy called Sydney Hunter. You have to make your way through Mayan temples, through different caves. You collect skulls in kind of all the different levels to enter different caves in the hub world. There's like a hub world where you can enter all different caves, as I was saying, where that will take you to different levels. And man, I am having a blast with this game and something that I loved about this video game. And then John texted me. He's like, just warning you, this game is NES hard. And I'm like, come on, man. It's, it's a side-scrolling platformer. And he as hard as what I do. There was times where I would text John and I'm like, dude, I legitimately was this close, this close to throwing my switch across the room because it is hard. There is definitely, definitely pixel perfect platforming. If you're not a fan of that, be careful. There's one level in particular, which I won't spoil, where they intentionally made it. And I'm talking pixel perfect platforming. I won't say where. But the game is so fun because when you mess up on this game, like we say about a lot of games, it's not the game's fault, it's your fault. If you mess up, it's your fault. It's a fun game. Even if you're not that good at games, I would definitely recommend playing it. The reason I kind of regret getting into this is because I find myself now. There was other games I was trying to beat like Wizard of Legend or Legend of Wizard. I can't remember what it's called. And I thought I was stuck in those games and now this game has been taking up all my time. Sydney Hunter has become a fun one for me, one that I'm going back to. Getting very close to a completion status, as Gerard would say, to being a completionist and getting everything I can get in that game. Uh, I recommend it, you guys. Uh, it is a cheap game. It is going to be $20 on the eShop. Actually, I think it is already there. Thank you, by the way, Collector Vision, for the awesome game. Uh, also, last thing that I want to say about it, support the indie game community. You know, this isn't made by Nintendo. This isn't a AAA game. It's always good to support fellow community, especially guys like JF who made the game who's actually a fan of the show that is awesome and Game Straighty One and the rest of the crew you know Game Straighty One has been a stronghold in the retro gaming community for a long time so support and I promise this isn't me just saying it because this is legitimately legitimately a good video game I look at any of my texts to my friends I'm like hey John's not even here but I'll tell you this game's fire here we go my Wii U and Wii collecting. This took like a weird twist of turns to get here. I had a PS4, I sold it to buy a Nintendo Switch. Since I didn't have a PS4, I felt like I needed a console of that type, so I bought an Xbox One, but then I ended up trading that to get a Wii U for my kid, and then I ended up buying an Xbox One X with my own money. Long story short, the only thing I don't have currently right now is a PlayStation 4, I need to get one again. But with all that said, the Wii U is something I originally got for my kid. All my intentions were just for my kid, he really wanted a Wii U, even though we had a Switch, which is something I'll mention at the end. The collection just started getting kind of something that we got really excited to collect for together. It was a Nintendo console. You know, it wasn't VHS tapes. It wasn't original Xbox stuff. This is stuff that we are very familiar with, kind of exciting for us to collect. You know, especially for my son, you see Pokemon, you see Kirby, you see Donkey Kong, you see Mario, you know, you see things, you see Star Fox of that Nintendo nature that is familiar to him. This is one that is quickly taking up a lot of room because it's really easy to get Wii games on the cheap. And it's interesting because what I alluded to earlier is that my kids play this way more than they play the Nintendo Switch, which I think is super interesting. And even I find myself sometimes when I'm like, hey guys, you wanna play a video game together? I go to like the Wario games or some Mario Party games on the Wii U. So it's interesting that this collecting for the Wii U and the Wii has become more played than Nintendo Switch which is odd again, because most people say you don't need a Wii U anymore because we have the Nintendo Switch. But in my household, it's, uh, the tables are kind of turned. Yes, we play the Nintendo Switch, as I said, with Sydney Hunter, but yeah. I, I, uh, I don't, we got here in a weird way, a weird twist, but I'm happy we're here because we love our Wii U. Got you something today, something small. Uh, Go ahead and look. A Wii U, Evan? You're welcome. I'm just happy you like it. I'm happy. Really happy. Here we go! This next one is for sure the biggest, I would say. How in the world did I get here? As many of you know, I had a game room in the past. It got messed up. We just built a new game room. At least that was the intention to have a game room to store all my stuff and my goodies and my toys. But 
quickly I decided that I wanted to turn it into an arcade room. I started buying one-up arcades. These aren't cheap. I bought a Street Fighter Third Strike cab that was not cheap. I got it modified to play every arcade game, which was not cheap. All of this stuff quickly became the biggest, how did I get here? But at the same time, it's, I'd have to say yes, this is my most played thing of all these things, of all this collecting journey of how did I get started doing this or how, why did I do this or I shouldn't have started collecting these. This is the biggest one that in the end, I spend personally the most time with. A big thing is the price of this. I probably spent on the game room, on redoing it, on the arcades, on the modifications, on the big TV, on all this stuff like seven grand. You know, some of the other stuff that I started collecting that I feel like I shouldn't have started collecting, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm a few hundred bucks in, you know, maybe a thousand bucks max. But the arcade room and everything I've put into that, man, that is, that is the most expensive one for sure. But again, my most, my most time spent playing out of all these things that I've started collecting. Here we go! All right, now I need to hear from you guys. I want to hear the stories in the comments where sometimes you look at something and go, should I, have, should I have collected this? How did I get here? Where did all my money go? I want to hear all those stories. I want to know all about it in the comment section below. I feel like this is a topic that every collector can relate to because all of us, like I said, we look around and go, what? What? I mean, me at this point, I have like four different game rooms and four different locations that I store my stuff. You can't even see over here. I have stuff for my, my, my poor kid. Well, not poor kid, he loves it. More stuff just building all over his walls and everything because as collectors, we just, we go, 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 go. Let's see what I collect next, who knows? But I wanna know what you guys are collecting. All right, that's it. See you guys later. Have a good one. How did we get here?